James in the Dark The sun was setting after a busy, bustling day on the island of Sodor. All the engines were excited, because later that evening, Alicia Body was coming to the island to sing at the Grand Opera House. The Fat Controller had a very special job for James. James, you will bring Alicia Body, the mayor, and the Sodor Brass Band to the concert. Yes, sir. It will be very dark tonight, so you must have a lamp fitted. Yes, sir. James puffed happily to the steamworks. Victor and Kevin were there. Hello, James, my friend. Your paintwork looks especially shiny. Especially happy. That's because everyone needs to look good for the concert. Sorry, boss. <laughs> Slip of the hook. A workman brought a lamp for James. This lamp will make me look silly. Everyone at the concert will look their best except me. The workman tried to fit the, la the lamp to James's boiler, then to his buffer, and then to his funnel. The workman tried his best, but still James did not like his lamp. It makes me look silly. I will not wear that silly And James puffed crossly out of the steamworks. That later that night, James met Thomas at another junction. His lamp was shiny bright. Hello, James. Where's your lamp? James couldn't see which engine it was. Lamps just make engines look silly. Goodbye, Henry. I'm not Henry. I'm Thomas. But James didn't hear. He was already puffing away into the darkness. The evening became darker and darker. He, James could only see a little bit. Then there was a station up ahead. This is where I pick up Alicia Botti and the mayor. But James hadn't picked up Alicia Botti and the mayor. He had picked up Farmer McCall and his prized cow. James hadn't seen them on the platform. It was too dark. James could hardly see anything. At the next junction, James met an engine. The engine was Edward. Hello, James. Where's your lamp? Just make engines look silly. Goodbye, Percy. I'm not Percy. I'm Edward. But James didn't hear. He was already puffing away into the darkness. The night now was very dark. This is where I pick up the Soto Brass Band. But it wasn't the brass man. It was Farmer Trotter and his prized pigs. All aboard! But James didn't see them on the platform. He couldn't see anything. It was too dark. At last, James puffed into the town hall. The fat controller was waiting. Here I am, sir. 
I have picked up all of our very important visitors. James, what have you done? You've brought Farmer McColl and his prized cow, and Farmer Trotter and his pigs. You were supposed to bring Alicia Body and the mayor. Oh dear! I thought a lamp would make me look silly, but now I really do look silly. I'm sorry, sir. This is all my fault. Please, sir, I will race like the wind to get Farmer Trotter and Farmer McCall to Brendan. Later, I will pick up our very important guests. Just then, Thomas puffed in. He had brought the workman with James's lamp in his cab. This time, James let the workman put the lamp on James's foot. He did not feel or look silly. Just then, Edward puffed up. Hello, James. Your lamp looks good. I know. Now I can see very well in the dark. Then, an idea flew into his funnel. Can Thomas and Edward pick very important passengers and I will take Farmer McCall and Farmer Trotter to the, to the docks? That's a good idea, James. Then you must come straight back here. Sir, yes, sir. So James set off for Brendam Docks. His new lamp shone brightly as he puffed on. James arrived at the docks just in time. Bye. Then James puffed his pistons and set off back to the town hall. As James puffed along, he felt very happy. He knew that he could see now everything in the dark. I can now see how beautiful Sodor looks at night. Please, sir. He really liked having a lamp. James puffed slowly into the town square. Alicia Bronte was singing sweet. Then, James noticed the other engines. They were shining their bright lamps as lighting the show. Now, James didn't feel silly at all. Can I shine my lamp on Miss Bronte? Now, then any, everyone can see her from miles around. Very well, James. Then, when Alicia Bossy smiled at him, he couldn't have felt happier.